It's not easy when something you love changes, but there's also no such thing as perfect. For as much as we love the new Mazda Miata, after a tour slog down I-5 to San Diego in one with the top-up, we were thinking earplugs would have been a good idea. We were on our way to drive its sister car, the one that wears a garishly oversized Fiat badge on the nose. This is the car we jokingly refer to as the Fiata, the one that's actually called the Fiat 124 Spider, named after Fiat's classic 1966 to 1978 two-seat roadster. The car lived on beyond that but with its name changed to Spider 2000. Built in Hiroshima, Japan, by Mazda, Fiat's new Spider wears its own distinct sheet metal and is 5 inches longer and about 100 pounds heavier than the Miata. Fiat didn't change the MX-5 platform's 90.9-inch wheelbase, which means the extra length is all in the front and rear overhangs. Next to the Mazda, the 124's nose looks longer and more upright. In back, the extra length yields a larger trunk opening and an extra 0.4 cubic foot of capacity. Italian design house Spine Inferina penned the original 124 Spider, and Fiat has wisely chosen to crib some of the styling elements from it for the new car. The shape of the headlight cutouts, the hood bulges, and the kink in the doors are all lifted straight from Pine Inferina's design. We would have preferred something sexier than black plastic to fill the front grille opening, but we like what Fiat has done here, giving us a retro foil to the Miata's modern design idiom. Turbocharged Italian Heart Transplant The 1.4-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine under the hood also marks a departure from the Mazda version and its naturally aspirated 2.0-litre twin cam 4. Assembled in Italy, the 1.4T is shipped complete to Japan to be installed during final assembly. The engine is similar to the one in the Fiat 500 Abarth with £4 per square inch of additional turbo boost and modifications for longitudinal mounting in the rear-wheel drive spider. Bolstered by £22 per square inch of boost, this multi-air 4 makes 160 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute and 184 lbft of torque at 2,500 revolutions per minute. Opt for the Abarth version of the 124 Spider and you'll get four more horses but the same amount of torque. There's a nice surge of turbo boost and torque at about 2000 revolutions per minute, but the thrust tapers off beyond the 5500 revolutions per minute power peak. Unlike the Miata, which is good to the last rev, the Fiat's final 1000 revolutions per minute before its 6500 revolutions per minute red line isn't worth exploring. Compared with the 155 horsepower 2.0 litre in the Miata, the turbocharged engine comes across as lazier and less eager to be abused. Some of that is certainly due to the easy flow of low end torque, but the Fiat never feels any stronger than the naturally aspirated Miata. Turbo lag is present, but it's easy to mitigate by keeping the revs above 2000 revolutions per minute. However, should you roll through a stop in second gear and lug the engine down to idle, you'll find there's a delay before the engine wakes up. Fiat claims a 0 to 60 mph time of 6.8 seconds. We think that's slightly conservative, after all, we've achieved a 5.9 second 0 to 60 time in the Miata, but we won't know for sure until we've tested the 124. A six-speed manual transmission is standard, and this one works as brilliantly in the Italian job as the six-speed unit found in the Mazda. Shifts are short and precise, and the engine is alert enough to make rev matching a joy. Our only gripe, and it's an exceedingly minor quibble, is that the Spider's squared-off shift knob is less pleasant to grab than the Miata's spherical one. We also found that the turbo engine is quite happy working with the six-speed automatic transmission, a $1,350 option. Shifts are quick, downshifts are immediate, and the automatic is smart enough to keep the four cylinders torque at the ready. In the base classic and the more luxuriously appointed Lasso models, the engine is eerily quiet. 
Unlike the version in the 500 Abarth, the Spider's engine is far more muffled. Under hard acceleration, there's not much sound coming from either the intake or the exhaust. The sporty Abarth Spider with its standard quad pipe exhaust turns up the volume, but it's never as blatty and attention grabbing as the 500 Abarth's exhaust note. For those who want it louder, there's a record Manza dual mode performance exhaust available as a dealer accessory. Not so nervous is not so bad, a calmer, quieter, and more mature Maitu appears to have been Fiat's brief. An acoustic windshield, a slightly thicker top, and more sound deadening under the carpet and along the fire will all serve to reduce noise levels when the top is raised. Along with the extra length, the sound deadening and acoustic windshield are the big contributors to the 124 Spider's aforementioned 100 pound weight gain over the Maitu. This is still a loud car to ride in if you judge by family's Dan standards, but it's quieter than the sometimes raucous Maitu. We're unlikely to wish for earplugs after a two-hour highway drive in the Fiat. This maturity extends to the Fiat's chassis tuning. The Kintelum front and multi-link rear suspension setups carry over, but Fiat brought in its own dampers, springs, and anti-roll bars. The tires, whether the 16 inches on the Classica or the 17s on the Lusso and the Abarth, are the same as the Mayatas. Ride quality on the rather smooth roads around San Diego was similar. The biggest dynamic difference between the two is the Fiat's reduced body roll. Fiat's tuning takes the Maitu off its toes and puts it on its feet. Turning is less abrupt and more gradual. Aim straight down the road, the Fiat requires fewer steering corrections to stay in its lane. Some will miss the Mazda version's nervous energy but we appreciate that the fighter skipped that last shot of espresso. Dressed up, not messed up, interior changes are more superficial than those outside, with the layout and underpinnings the same as in Mazda's Roadster. Fiat changed the gauge faces, added a few soft touch materials, redid the door panels, and screwed on that squared off shift knob. Fiat specified its own seat fabric and padding and leather is available in Lasso and Abarth models. We particularly like the Abarth standard leather and fork seward seats. Passenger side legroom remains tight, especially for anyone more than 6 feet tall. The most satisfying thing is that Fiat didn't mess up our beloved Maeta. Fiat's changes imbue it with enough civility to make it more palatable to those, say, over the age of 40. It's quieter a bit more composed, and slightly more relaxed. Fiat's 1.4 liter isn't lusty enough for roadster duty, and aside from the Abarth version it doesn't sound like much, but it does provide that easy talk. Pricing starts at $25,990 for the Classica, while the Automatic Lasso opens at $28,490 and the Abarth comes in at $29,190. These prices are similar to those for the Mayata's Sport, Club, and Grand Touring trimmer levels. Driving down to San Diego, we had our doubts about what Fiat might do to one of our 10 Best Cars Award winners, but our fears were assuaged. Indeed, as we drove back up I-5 in our long-term Mayata, we understood why someone might actually prefer the Fiat 124 Spider.